We start with breaking news out of New Jersey, where a Clifton fireboat needed to be rescued from the Passaic River. News first, Jackie Beckford just got to that scene in Garfield. So, Jackie, what do we know about how this happened? Right now, we're watching the rescuers being rescued themselves. One rescuer still on that boat right now. That's partially submerged boat. I'm going to step out of the way so you can take a look at what's happening here. Just a short while ago, we saw a New Jersey State Trooper helicopter uh, come into the picture here and a rescuer descend onto that boat and lift up one of the two uh, Clifton rescuers that was initially on that sunken boat. You can see one of them still remains there now. I'll show you a video of that air rescue just a short while ago. Uh, that rescuer, again, a Clifton firefighter uh, that went over the Passaic Falls here, uh, was rescued by the New Jersey State Trooper uh, helicopter and put back onto this little pathway that sits alongside the Passaic River. Right now, one man remaining. We heard from initial reports uh, that a Clifton fireboat had gone over the Passaic River Falls uh, a short while ago, leaving the two rescuers stranded here. Initially, there was a, a, a yellow lifeboat uh, that looked like it was going to be a part of this rescue that they were lowering down from the side of the banks uh, to try to rescue those two. Uh, but that apparently went out the window when the New Jersey State uh, Trooper helicopter was brought in instead and a rescuer descended from that chopper and rescued one of those uh, Clifton firefighters. It looks like it is now returning here. If we, uh, it looks like the, excuse me, the New Jersey State uh, Trooper helicopter is returning and they're about to pick up that other firefighter that remains on the sunken boat right now. Uh, we haven't seen anyone descend from the helicopter just yet, but it looks like they're about to, to do so. Uh, meanwhile, again, that Clifton firefighter uh, stuck on that boat. We're told uh, from around really three this afternoon after their fireboat went over the falls, remained standing there. Doesn't look like they're in any sort of immediate danger. Uh, there's about a football field away downriver. There is another uh, rescue operation that is set up there in case somehow this firefighter uh, starts to go downriver. right here is the, the propellers from the chopper kick up the water and kick up uh, just flowers in the nearby area as that rescuer comes down again to pick up the second firefighter. The first one rescued a short time ago and placed in the chopper, excuse me, no, placed on the banks alongside the river. This rescue, though, not seeming to land uh, directly in the boat as the first one did. This one bit more in the water and trying to make his way over to the boat and to the firefighter in need of rescue right now. Looks like he's getting closer and closer as we speak. And he's going up a bit more and then they're apparently going to try to bring him down uh, in a better position where he's actually on the boat and able to make contact with that firefighter. But some very intense moments. You know, we usually don't get a chance to see this in real time. We're usually there after the scene and, and oftentimes it is cell phone video uh, from, from people at the scene. I, if I can tell you right now, there are tons of people actually here at the scene standing along a road here on River Drive that runs alongside the river. We've been here watching this uh, ever since it began unfolding. We've got police, uh, Clifton and City of Garfield police in the area here as well, standing by a fence um, right alongside the roadway. All to watch this. Of course, everybody hoping and praying that this firefighter is rescued safely without any incident. And it seems like that is about to happen as a state trooper, Marine rescuer, uh, tries to be lowered into that boat. It looks like he's having some trouble, though, as we said. The first rescue did not take this much time. He was basically lowered in, uh, landed uh, directly onto the boat, uh, strapped in the the first uh, firefighter and then was raised up and taken to that roadway alongside the river. But this
this one seems to be taking a bit more time as they try to, to, to nail the landing, so to speak, uh, to get him on that boat where the firefighter is waiting to be rescued at this point. It doesn't look, since we've arrived, uh, probably about 20 minutes ago, it looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, the boat has sunk a, a bit, but not, not dramatically so. It was seemed like the firefighter was standing uh, higher when we initially arrived. And now it seems like he's a, a bit lower. So I don't know if there's some concern there, uh, if, that, if there's some concern there that the boat might be uh, sinking further and th that obviously the urgency in getting him out. Check, you were watching this dramatic rescue unfolding from here. From your vantage point, what, what is the key challenge to this? Because you mentioned the first rescue was much easier. It looks really challenging from afar. What is making it so hard for that rescuer to get down to the boat? sure if it's the wind. There seems to be a bit of wind. Uh, I don't know if it's an intense wind, but there seems to be a bit of wind. I don't know if that's played a role in it at all. It doesn't seem to be any more windy or any windier than it was earlier. Just again, probably 10 minutes ago when that first firefighter was rescued. But there seems to be some sort of challenge in just nailing the actual um, spot of dissension where he would actually land specifically. And it looks like they're actually pulling away. It looks like they're pulling away for right now. Uh, they're moving away. The, the, the helicopter is withdrawing, and the rescuer seems to be um, being pulled back up into the chopper, at least for now, uh, as they, I'm assuming, maybe try to regroup a bit here before they uh, continue operations right now. Uh, but that rescuer from the uh, Marine unit chopper is right now dangling in the air um, a short distance from the helicopter itself. It doesn't look like he's going back up, but it looks like they're coming back around again uh, to possibly lower him. Yes, he's being lowered down again uh, and maybe hoping that this time the descent and the, the, the direction of his, his landing will be more precise and that he'll be able to land specifically on the boat here. So again, another go at this. This is the second, second, uh, second try to get this second firefighter was stuck on that boat, that partially submerged boat here in the Passaic River after we're told got here, um, but he doesn't seem to be panicking at all. Uh, it seems as though, again, there was a yellow uh, rescue boat on the banks here that was initially going to be used as part of the rescue, but at some point, uh, those plans seem to have been uh, seem to have been done away with, and then the state trooper helicopter brought in with uh, a rescuer now trying to uh, get to this firefighter via the air, trying to get onto the boat, and then, uh, excuse me, latch him in, and then Another try uh, here at rescuing this uh, this rescuer. All right, it looks like they're coming back again. The rescuer from the helicopter still dangling in the air as we speak. Of course, again, so many people here along the banks watching this unfold. We've got a ton of kids. We've got uh, a ton of neighbors in the area that all came out. The crowd has grown since we got here. I'd say there are at least uh, about at least a hundred or if not more people here with their cell phones. said these are rescuers being rescued. Time is of the essence right now. And even though we've seen this rescuer get so close to the boat, even touching the boat, it can seem like a needle in a haystack, even though he's just feet away. I would imagine, as you described, a windy situation there, the propellers of this helicopter going. How quickly did the other rescues happen? They've accomplished two rescues already. Say, so, no, they accomplished one rescue so far, and then this would have been the second one. Oh, it looks like they're actually going away from the scene. It looks like they're going to be circling around just like they did after they dropped off the first firefighter. Uh, Gilma, as a point to your question, uh, the first rescue probably took, honestly, we, we, it, we didn't realize that they were coming in to do this rescue. We saw the helicopter uh, hanging up, up about down the stream. Uh, but then we saw someone.
on uh, rappelling from the helicopter and, and then descending onto the boat and rescuing that uh, that first firefighter. And, and all it probably took uh, a minute in all. So this is a dramatically different um, process and outcome so far compared to the first one that we saw again about 15 minutes ago or so. Uh, so it's, an, it's 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 strange to think that circumstances and conditions have changed so much that 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 would have affected it. Uh, but that second firefighter still remains on that boat, that partially sunken boat, uh, awaiting rescue at this point. Um, and as I said, I'm going to have my photographer, uh, Will Caldwell, here, if we could. Will, is there any way to sort of pan here so we can see all of the people here uh, supporting this rescue and trying to, obviously, praying for this firefighter and, and just waiting tensely to see what's going to happen here? And I'll, of course, bring you right back as soon as the, as the chopper uh, appears to be making another attempt at a rescue here. Uh, here it comes again over Head, but it doesn't seem to be. Maybe it's coming from another direction. Let's see it here. Yeah, no, it's moving away from the scene right now, uh, so it's unclear if it's going to be trying to make another attempt at a rescue um, within the short, uh, short time here, short future. But uh, the second firefighter remains in the boat right now. Waiting for rescue. There's still that yellow boat, as we mentioned, um, on the banks on that hillside there uh, that was going to be used as part of the rescue, and it's still on standby. And as we mentioned, about a football field down the way here, down river, there's another set of rescuers, and I think they have a rope kind of out into the river in case uh, this firefighter starts moving down river before he can get too far. Just to reset for people just joining us, we are watching quite a scene unfold in Garfield, New Jersey, where that Clifton Fire Rescue Team, two people, were trying to rescue someone else. They got submerged there at the bottom of those falls that you're looking at. Jackie has described the first rescue that went pretty quickly, but the second one, that second firefighter you see right there on your screen, the man who doesn't seem in any sort of panic, is waiting for that chopper and the rescuer to come down and get him off now. Uh, Jackie, he doesn't seem to be any danger though, but he is submerged. You see the boat is under the water. Um, what, what can you tell us from your vantage point about the rushing water, how far he is from the shore there and from the land, and uh, how long, I mean, it seems like he's not in any kind of panic, uh, but of course he doesn't want to be there for too long because we see that water rushing really fast. That's right, Adam. And honestly, as you said, he, he doesn't seem to be in any sort of panic, nor did the other firefighter when the two of them were on that boat uh, for quite some time. Uh, neither one seemed to be panicked. They were just standing there uh, waiting to be rescued. And again, it seemed like the, the yellow um, rescue boat was going to be the means of that rescue there. You can see uh, right along the banks, which isn't too far away. It looks like a stone's throw from here, but of course that could be uh, just a deceptive, uh, deceptive because of the distance from where we're standing. But uh, it doesn't look like they're that far away from it. But for some reason that was not used as the form of rescue at this point and uh, of course that state trooper helicopter was brought in but as you mentioned we're talking about the Passaic River Falls here uh, the water's rushing pretty quickly uh, it's unclear uh, what if the concern is that the water is going to continue to uh, if it's going to continue to get higher if this high tide is going to play a role or, or anything to that effect as we mentioned it does seem like they have the, the, the boat or that section of the boat the back end of the boat has sunken down uh, a bit uh, more so than when we first arrived because when we first arrived, it looked like they were, the firefighters were standing a bit taller, so to speak. Um, but now it seems as though he has sunken in a little bit more. Nothing uh, that seems at all uh, alarming at this point. Uh, but of course, the, the goal here is to get him rescued, to get him on land, uh, safely on land as the other firefighter is right now. So uh, rescue operations apparently, obviously continuing, but that, that helicopter that was here that took part or played the, played the major role in the first rescue uh, has disappeared appeared from sight as of right now. It's unclear what the case is there, if they're going to try to, if they're going to have to refuel, if, if refueling is an issue, uh, or if they're trying to strategize another plan, or if they're waiting out uh, any possible weather conditions that might be playing a role in this, like wind. Uh, no clear information yet at this point. Uh, firefighters stand, though, on the banks uh, waiting at this point. And again, that boat with rescuers <clears throat> next to it, the, the, the yellow rescue boat, um, is still uh, positioned where it was when we first got here. Um, so that looks like that's a possibility that could play a role in that as well. Jackie, the firefighter we're looking at right now seems, like we mentioned, pretty calm. Uh, and you mentioned the, the yellow device that we see behind him, closer to the banks there. They attempted to use that before the chopper came down to rescue the first firefighter? 
Uh, no, Adam, no, they didn't attempt to use it. They, they were moving they it, it further and further down the bank. They brought it out and they were moving it further down the bank uh, with the expectation that that was what was going to happen. And then, of course, uh, the chopper became, uh, became a part of the rescue, became the main part of the rescue. So it's unclear if that is still in play at this point or if it is going to be an attempt at that boat rescue instead. Checky, obviously, I don't know if my mic is open here, but obviously these firefighters are so familiar with these rescue operations. I believe we've seen this firefighter communicating over the phone right now. He seems to be giving direction to the other rescuers there, uh, perhaps preparing to, to use the other contingency plans outside of the helicopter. Don't know if, if the weather conditions aren't allowing for this helicopter here. Can you walk us through? Oh, look, there's some movement there. It seems to, he seems yeah. to be grabbing hold of a rope there. Hold of a rope. Yeah, yeah, Gilma, that's what looks, seems, to be, seems to appear to be happening here. He looks like he's holding a rope now. Meanwhile, that chopper is coming back into, uh, into sight here as well. You can probably hear it through my mic. But that firefighter grabbing hold of a rope, he'd been pointing toward the shore and, and then pointing downward toward the boat. So it looks like he's attempting to tie it to something, uh, that rope that he was thrown. Um, but it does look like the chopper is back in scene here. And the, uh, excuse me, a rescuer is again descending from the chopper. Uh, it's coming into sight here. You'll see it in a second. But as that firefighter appears to have tied that rope to, to the boat, to the sunken boat, it looks like the chopper is going to make yet another attempt, a third attempt at this point at rescuing him. And, uh, and it looks like he's getting ready for it. He's moved position again so far, that firefighter on the boat. He hasn't moved much in this entire time, except for when we saw him uh, gesturing towards other rescuers along the banks. Uh, but now themselves. And this has been going on, check you said, for a couple of hours now, right? Yeah, for a couple of hours now. We're seeing them lower the firefighter and the rescuer um, onto a bank. That's the same area where they put that first firefighter. It looks like they're having a little trouble kind of stabilizing there as well. But uh, the, the hard part, for the most part, you can think, you'd have to believe, is over. And they're lowering them slowly to the ground uh, there alongside the river. Other firefighters on the ground there reaching up and trying to grab the feet of, of, the, uh, of that firefighter, and they did. They managed to do so. He is safely on the ground. He's safely on dry land right now alongside the Passaic River, uh, getting a big hug from his, his, uh, his colleagues and friends there as this rescue has ended, uh, ended successfully, thankfully. I know he's happy to have his feet back on dry land. You can see that for sure. That firefighter is now on the ground and the aviation unit rescuer going back up to the chopper. Just a wonderful scene there, Jackie, to see after a couple of hours and, and a tenuous time there for a, a few op opportunities to rescue him that didn't go as well after the first person was pulled away. And now we take a wider view to see that state police chopper overhead 
with the rescue unit going back inside. And, and Gilma, we've been watching this unfold now for about 20 minutes or so. And what I think is remarkable is the crowd that's grown around Checky on the scene there in Garfield. And yet, Adam, those rescuers did not lose their pool. Calm under pressure. They are so familiar with these rescues, Checky. They know exactly what to do. The rescuer who had to be rescued knew that staying calm would be uh, something that would help them uh, along this journey. We saw, uh, I don't know if I lost count, some three different attempts uh, by the rescuer on the helicopter to, to make contact with that boat at one point, uh, even hitting the boat, having to move away from it in order to start those efforts again. But we are so happy to report that one is on solid ground, another has uh, made it back onto the helicopter, also hoping to be on solid ground shortly. That's right, Gilma. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And oh, and you, as you mentioned, of course, just the demeanor of that firefighter needing rescue, it just it shows that their training plays a role even when they are on the other end of the situation. Just an amazing and, and magical and special scene here with all these people, as we could see, alongside watching and cheering when that second firefighter was finally lifted up and taken safely back to land. We're live in Garfield. Check you back for News 4 New York. Check